Hi everybody, my name is Adrian and we are going to be doing a long resistance band and a loop resistance band session today. So remember work at the work at your best uh, version of the exercises. So if you find the exercise too hard, please go for the easier options or stop that exercise that you were doing and go for the exercise previously. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. My name is Adrian and let's get ourselves moving. So we're going to bring ourselves to hip distance apart with the feet standing up nice and tall. Reset your shoulders, holding your, your resistance band in your hand and let's roll back. I couldn't talk there for a moment. <laughs> and again. So my knees are slightly off lock and let's change direction going the opposite way. So circle forwards. Good. Now remember to breathe as you move. So we're just starting to mobilize the shoulders, warming up those shoulders. Now shoulder shrug. So we shrug it up and then down. Just make sure that your band is nice and even on each side as best as you can get it. Last one. Great. Then what I want you to do from here is you're going to start to float the arms up just to shoulder height and then bring it down. So I'm going to turn slightly on a diagonal for that. Beautiful. My knees are soft. My chest is lifted. I'm in a nice neutral pelvic alignment so I'm not tucking or arching. Bring awareness to your shoulders. To your shoulders. That's what we want. Warming up. Keep the neck nice and easy. Now take the arms a little higher up towards the eyebrows and then come down. So I'm holding my band team between my uh, fingers and my, my thumbs and my index fingers as we do this. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to go out of shot but if I do you keep going. I'll step back a little so you're going to float the arms up all the way to the top and then bring the arms down. The aim here guys is that we bring the band so there's a straight line above the skull. Now take the arms up, inhale as you exhale, side bend over to the right, come back to the center and then over to the left hand side, nice and easy and then float the arms down. Let's do that to the opposite side. So in breath, exhale, side bend, come back to the center, over to the opposite side and then float the arms down. We're going to add on to this now. So we're going to inhale. As you exhale, side bend over to the right, pull the band in, look down, circle one way. Don't forget about your top arm. Circle the opposite way, push away, come up, let's change side. Over to the other side, pull, circle one way, smile, circle the other way, and then push away, and then bring the arms down. Glorious job. So I'm going to go all the way back now, and I'm going to pull the band behind me, and then I'm going to take it forward. Now, if you have any shoulder injuries, you will just float the arms up and down. I'm turning back onto a diagonal as I do this, and I'm not going to arch my low back as I go. Brilliant. Keep moving. Feel a stretch across the chest maybe. This is a great movement for mobilizing the shoulders. Now stay back there. Just flip your hands around. Grab a hold of the band. Reset your shoulders. Now pull the band away from your glutes and then bring it back into alignment without hinging from the hips. Good. Keep it moving. So we're going to pull back and then bring it in. Start to feel a bit of heat between your shoulders and at the rear deltoids. Now stay back and pull apart and then bring it back into shot. So we're going to take the band out, pull apart and then come back in. You keep going. Now I'm facing you. Lovely. How are we getting on so far? All good? Yes. I'm just imagining you saying yes right now. Let's do one more here. Excellent. Now bring the band to the front and the palms are going to be facing upwards. Thumbs out to the sides. Glue your elbows into your waist. Shoulders reset. Now you're going to press away, pull away and then bring it back in without your elbows leaving your side. So imagine you had super glued your elbows. So pull apart and then bring it in. So we are working on external rotation from the top of the shoulder joint, glenohumeral joint. The knees are slightly off lock. My belly button is gently tacked in towards my spine. It's not a big movement. We're going to do one more of those. Excellent job. So from here, take the band behind you and place it underneath the armpits. Now make sure that the tails of the band are even. So it's right under your armpits and then bring yourself back up. Right. So standing tall once again, we're going to press the arm forwards and we're going to switch. Keep it going. So you're going to breathe out. Breathe in. 
So I'm not going to rotate from, I'm not going to twist my pelvis as I do this. So my hips are square to you, your hips are square to me. Excellent. Now check this out. Right arm presses out, then you open, bring it in and switch. One, two, three, together. Here we go. Open the gates. One more time. Now I'm going to start on the left side. Ready? Here we go. And then the right. Hey. And together. So we're going to inhale. Exhale, return. Last one. Now stay open. Hold it here. Bend your knees. Rotate to the right. One, two. Come back to the center. And then to the left. Now, if you've got a really painful low back today, why not allow your pelvis to move with you? That's okay. Everyone else, keep the arms long. Keep the pelvis fixed to the front as you go. So I'm rotating from my spine. So the body of the airplane rotates, not the wings. Think about that. And don't hold your breath. I'll try not to. Come back to the center and then float your arms down. Excellent. So I'm going to stand on this band. So FYI, I'm still using my medium resistance band here. And um, we're going to have our feet about hip distance apart. And I'm going to hold on to the band with my hands up, down. So I'm holding down. Not like a bouquet of flowers. The stumps are down. So let's reset. Check your posture. And without bending your elbows, you're going to elevate and then lower the shoulder girdle. So we're going to lift and lower. All keeping focus on good posture as we do this and control. So normally if you've got a bit of a tight neck or you get a painful neck doing floor exercises when you lift your skull off the mat, this is a really good one to help strengthen the neck muscles and the shoulders. So we're working the muscle. Think about the big diamond shaped muscle on your back. Trapezius. So what I want to do from here is a side bend over to the right. So side bend, I'm going to pull my left hand and then I'm going to change sides. And I'm feeling a little bit of a stretch on the waistline as I do that. Ah, that feels quite nice. I'm hoping you're enjoying this too. Keep it going, Studio One. I'm just pretending you're right in front of me. Remember, you're not going to kink the neck as you go to the side. You're just going to allow the spine to side bend. You're going to lift up and out through the spine. And then take a side lean, side bend, lateral flexion. Let's do one more leaning over to the left. And then over to the right. Brilliant job. Great. Now, now I want you to think of a bouquet of flowers. So you're going to bring the ends of the band together. So you've created the, the bunch of flowers. And you're going to hold that bunch of flowers. Now my feet are about hip distance apart. I'm using a medium resistance band. Step onto your right foot. Hold it there. So now straight away there's a balance. I'm lifting up and out. Lift your ribs. Shoulders down. Lift your ribs off your hips. Ready? We're going to press for three. Three, two, one. Come down. Other side. Go up. Three, two, one. Come down. You should start to feel something happening in the hips, the glutes. I'm challenging your balance. Yes. Come on, come on. Keep it going. Looking good, folks. Stay with me. How's about seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side. Go. Seven, six, five four three two one to the center baby knee bend just a little knee bend and then come up now separate the tails of the band and start to squat down i'm going to turn on a diagonal so i'm going to sit my bum back and then i'm going to come up nice and tall and i'm going to try and reach my thumbs up so see i'm holding like this so this helps to open the acromion process in the shoulder just a nicer way of doing this thumbs up <coughs> yay come on sit your bum back that's it. Continue. My eye gaze is two meters in front. And I'm going to inhale to lower, exhale to come up. Work with control. Always bring your hips back underneath your shoulders and stand upright. Continue, continue. Can you do this? 
course you can. Let's do one more. Stay where you are. So I'm going to turn my hands round the other way now. So we're going to pull back. Three, two, one. Back into alignment. So pull. Three, two, one. This is targeting more tricep and back of shoulder now. My knees are slightly off lock. My eye gaze is out on the horizon. My chin is level to the floor. Okay, so I'm not dropping my chin and I'm not jutting. Yeah, come on. You can do this. Keep it going. Let's go. What I like about using resistance bands is you have to resist both ways. You can't just let it ricochet back, so be careful of that. This is your final one. Brilliant job. Okie doke. Right, so you're facing me. I want the tail of the band out that way and my left foot is going to stand on the band. I'm then going to bring my right foot back into alignment so my feet are parallel and on the same line. I'm holding the band with my right hand. My left hand is going to be on my hip and I'm going to reset my shoulders. So we're going to do a version of a side lateral raise but it's going to go higher than usual. If you've got shoulder pain I would suggest maybe no, don't use a band or go for a light resistance band. Here we go. Take it out. Up. Two, three, four, stay with me, five, six, seven, now we go for frontal raise, frontal raise, forwards and up, one, two, keep that wrist nice and flat, Woo! Brilliant. Let's switch sides. So flip the tail round. You're on to the second side. So hopefully your foot is securing that band. Now you put your left foot into alignment with your right foot. The outside lines of your feet are parallel to me. Hold and try and get the same resistance there. Just check it out. Square your hips and chest. Are you ready? Side lateral raise. Here we go. And lift. Eight. Seven. Resist on the way down. Breathe out as you lift. Now bring it to the front. Ready? Frontal raise. Here we go. Up eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wonderful job. Already I'm feeling my shoulders are starting to feel a lot warmer. Now the next exercise we're going to do together, I'm going to talk right and left. So I'm not the mirror anymore. We are going to do this together. So I'm going to take the band out this way and I'm going to step onto the band with my left leg. My right leg is going to go back. If you've got a bit of knee pain, you may want to just turn the foot out ever so slightly like that. But I'm going to keep my heel raised. I've got quite a wide stance and I'm going to sneak my hand a little lower down because I want a bit of a challenge. So there's a long line from my crown to my tail. I'm going to have my left hand on my thigh and we're going to start with a row and I'm going to row towards my hip and then I'm going to come back down, rear deltoid. Ready? Here we go. And eight, seven, six, pull, five, exhale as you pull. Keep that neck nice and neutral. Now we're going to row and tricep kickbacks. So we're going to row, kick back and come down. You've got to control it. Three, four, five, six. Excellent job, guys. Come on. Seven. And eight. Now stay lifted. Hold. Tricep kick back eight times. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come down, shake it out. So I'm going to turn around so you can see me. You could do the same. 
and I'm going to put my right foot on the band this time so it's the hand closest hopefully we're all on the same page so I'm going to raise my left heel and I'm coming into that crescent posture my left hand is going to grab the band hopefully you've got the same resistance just check that out right hand on my thigh neutral pelvis here we go and eight seven I'm looking down to my big toe <sighs> breathe out <sighs> that's where you want to feel it now row and kick back so we pull kick back two Woo! this is a strong resistance band Stay up, kickbacks only, let's go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, brilliant job, come on down, give those arms a little shake out, how did you feel with that? So bring yourself up to here, and um, I want you to have your hands slightly lower than shoulders, my hands are wider than shoulder width and you're going to pull the band apart and then bring it back in my feet are slightly wider than hip distance apart keep a good solid base and you're going to pull you want to bring the band to your sternum keep going so we're going to go pull for two and then go the opposite way now those shoulder blades we're imagining they are squeezing a grape as we pull back and you want to exhale try not to take the tension into your neck maybe your band is too strong if you're feeling it in your neck right now or lower your band to about just below the chest line stay with the twos pull and come in brilliant job are you ready I'm gonna go eight singles I'm facing you let's go and eight seven are you still my friend and one bring it down gorgeous job put that band down for a moment give those arms a little shake upper back stretch for me just release keep moving roll your wrists your hands might have got a little bit uncomfortable so what we do now is we take our loop band so I'm using an intermediate or medium loop band quite a strong one and step into your band safely you may, you may need to sit down to put the band on make sure the band is not on your kneecaps but it actually above your knees and we're going to shuffle over to this side of the mat so let's do a few squats here just in the parallel and come up so you're going to sit back stand tall so just to get back into doing some weight bearing through the legs Now, if you've got low back pain today, I'm going to suggest don't go so low when we do the lateral walks. So there, I've told you what we're about to do. Let's do one more and stay down. So when you're ready, we're going to go half time. So we're going to go four, three, two, one. Go back the opposite way, but stay down. I'm sure you've seen these a hundred times do it again let's go so we never let this band slacken off keep the resistance to make it harder you get lower down to make it easier you stand up higher and again please let's go return four three two one come up for a moment give a little shake so come to the center of your mat okay so I'm going to be targeting my right gluteal drop and squat shift your weight over to this side so you don't want that band to collapse the knees and push out with the knees so ready we're going to tap out that way here we go and tap bring it in tap bring it in keep going so I'm going to get your timer on one minute is what we want what normally happens is people push themselves off that leg. You want to stay on this leg, team. Keep it going. Keep it going. 
and I'm getting a nice little bit of a rotation through my ribs <sighs> as I do that I'm definitely standing on my right leg and the right arch of my foot is not collapsing in so I'm pushing my right knee out towards my baby toe breathe to make it harder get down lower come on let's go 26 seconds hey hey you can do it the ceilings drops so you can't go any higher than that let's go let's go Woo! come on I know some of you out there love this resistance band work so stay with me please 10 more seconds nine eight seven six five four three two one come up squat down up up yes sit your bum back yeah sit back you can do it let's try and reach for something off the ground as if you're picking it up let's do four more here stop most of the weight is going to be on this leg drop down you should be able to raise your right leg on your marks tap it out go now ribs close them close the ribs and let's add some arms yeah time is on yay let's go let's go we like to be efficient don't we guys now my left leg is where I'm feeling it wow this is just a little bit of a party trick there it's just there to look pretty as you move come on stay with me stay with me push 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 so I'm weight bearing on my left hip ankle knee and hip stability as well a little bit of a balance element here as well because I'm having to keep that heel raised as I move now try and bend your left knee a little more if your knees allow it continue we've got 10 more seconds four three two one stand up let that band come off your legs right so if you don't have any knee pathologies cross over if you do just walk around a little bit and switch sides oh okay shake it out so we're now going to bring ourselves down to our mat so we I you may need a prop grab a drink of water bring yourself down team I'm going to move this down a little so you can see me Wunderbar. okay so we're coming down to the mat if you have spinal pathologies this is not the way to get down you roll to your side to come onto your back yeah okie doke so you choose which way you get down I'm gonna put my hands behind my thighs I'm gonna roll down I'm gonna move my pillow out my way and I'm gonna have my feet on the ground and I'm gonna lift for two and lower my heels are in line with my sit bones my hands are pressed down left left lower lower keep going so think of a lunar lift of your pelvis up and down nice beautiful job that's it right okay so what I need you to do I'm gonna grab a lighter resistance band for this work now you're going to place the band onto your right foot, loop it around the arch, make sure it's closer to the heel than the toes and it's flat, that it's not curled up. Right, so I'm going to tag my elbows to the mat and I'm going to bring my knee to tabletop. So about 90 degree-ish angle. I want you to start with your low back on the mat and we're just going to press it out and in. Ready? Here we go, nice and slow. Out and in. Breathe out, inhale. So you've got to work with resistance here. I've got a nice resistance on my band. Working through a hip flexibility as well, hip mobility, and the knee is working, which is great. Right, now, step into your left heel, lift your bum off the floor, so now that left gluteal is gonna work, pelvic stability as well. Let's go speed it up, and one two keep your neck long three look at the ceiling don't look at me now four hopefully you can hear me five are you still there come on 
check this out so we're gonna go push left in bring it in that was the rehearsal one two three keep those hips nice and still hello four Woo -woo. Stay up. We're going to press the heel to the sky. Left, ready. One, two. Keep that band tight. Six, seven, eight. Now extend that leg out. Band in your left hand. Take the leg across the midline. Lift your right hip off the floor for four, three, to one bring it back to the center now we're going to change legs in the air so place the left foot into the band and put your right foot down let's move this out of the way so are you ready reset tag bend the knee pelvis is organized here we go slow press and bring it in So you adjust which band you're going to use today. So for me, I think this is good. Yeah, my back's a little bit tight. Everyone okay? So in a moment, we're going to be lifting the pelvis off the floor. So step into your right foot closer to your hips. Lift. Here we go. And push out. Come on, five, six, seven. Are you still there? Ready? We're gonna go this. So that's your rehearsal. Here we go, and one, left. Keep your hips nice and level. Two, step into that right heel. Three, so I'm activating my glute and my hamstring on that right side, and I'm working on hip mobility, flexibility on my left. Now I'm going to guess we've got one or two left. <laughs> Stay lifted. Now Luna lift your hips. We're going to go and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Bring it down. Extend that right leg. Whew. Right hand holds the band, take the leg across the midline. This is an excellent stretch for lower back pain. Don't force it, obviously. Hold it there for four more. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back through center, bend your knee, and bring yourself up. So roll towards me, and we're gonna bring ourselves up. Now, I'm gonna stick with this band. This is pretty good for me. This is where you may need a pillow, so some people cannot kneel because this is painful for their knees. So I would suggest take a big pillow and kneel on that pillow. You are then going to take your band like so, and you're gonna put your right leg into the band. So I need to make sure that my knee is supporting that band, got it? Now I'm gonna chug onto this, I'm gonna choke the band up a bit higher, and I'm gonna take my fist or my hand, depending on your wrist, so this is for wrist pathologies, this is, you could use a yoga block if you wanted to, so you come up to this position. Now your neck stays nice and long, hold it there for me. So give me a nice resistance on your band, or you could lift it up even higher, so that's a bit harder, like a bicep curl. And we're gonna bend that knee in, ready? Let's press it out, here we go, eight, seven, Six, keep the control. Five, that left hip is above the knee. Lift and low, let's go. Up, two, oh yeah. Three, keep your neck nice and long. Keep your eye gaze to me. Are you ready? Circles, here we go, and five four three two 
one opposite direction go five four booty burn bring it in Woo. come off that band for a moment shake out that leg and we're gonna go side two how did you get on no comment everyone's <laughs> oh my goodness right so here we go side two pillow maybe so kneeling on that band make sure you've got a good resistance this does take a little while to set up so sorry about that we're in position great now choke up on the band for the resistance you want and then i'm going to put my right hand down i'm going to make sure that my knee is under my hip as best as i can get it and i'm going to lift my leg up like so so i'm going to make sure that knee is securing the band okay you could have the arm up like so if you wanted to everyone good so we're going to bring the knee in and push it out or you can keep your hand here let's go and one two keep that neck long three so we don't want that four squeeze under the armpit on this side takes a lot of control this now we lift and low here we go eight seven shoulders away from the ears six belly button pulled in breathe out Woo. circle here we go and five four three two one opposite direction go five four three two one bring it down Woo -hoo. shake it out okay so we're going to lose the easy band are you still talking to me just about so let's just move the other band out the way and i'm going to take a seat side on you could sit on a block right now so if you find your lower back is pretty tight mine is tight but i'm going to give it a go with this one so loop your feet into that band right you want to separate the flesh you want to lift up nice and tall sit on your sit bones the knees are bent to start now you want a bit of a pull forwards here so i'm rowing i'm holding the band like this thumbs down here okay and reset my shoulders and i'm going to pull back i'm going to try and straighten my knees just a little some of you may find that's pretty easy to sit like that if you want to so if your back is okay you're going to pull now i'm actually leaning slightly forward so i'm not sitting into my back like this so i'm s slightly leaned forwards as i do this as mentioned you could be sitting on a block or something just to elevate the glutes as we pull exhale as you squeeze between your shoulders now check your neck alignment keep your chin level to the ground because we start to nod the chin in and that's not what we want is it keep the resistance on the band so don't let your feet do windscreen wiper in so keep them the outside edges of the feet parallel and the elbows are rubbing the ribs as we pull back how about a twist and back twist and back twist mind to muscle squeeze between your shoulders think of the back of the shoulders as well and think of the sternum the, the breastbone pressing forwards as we pull yes i'm lifting up and out of my spine as i do this so the crown of my head is lifting to the ceiling we are now going to do the arm closest to the screen and you're going to rotate round one two three four fist in line with elbow switch sides ready sit up tall on your marks inhale here we go and pull back twist one two three so i'm working on neck rotation as well four sit up tall everyone come on Wunderbar. Give your give your arms a little bit of rest now. Um, disclaimer: I'm going to be doing a roll down. If you've got spinal pathologies, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, you're on the floor on your back, and you're going to do either pelvic tilt or a shoulder bridge up. 
Everyone else, stay with me. So have your heels to the front of your mat. I'm going to sneak my hands down a bit. So this is my assistance today to roll down and roll up. So I inhale. As I exhale, pubic bone to navel, lower back taps the mat. And then I come back up. But I'm using the band to help me, folks, to start, to start with. And my elbows are pretty bent. Your heels feel quite light, so try to pancake them down. So the first few always look a bit rough, so don't judge yourself, first few. So I'm gradually and safely working my way down to a full roll down, roll up. And now I'm near the rib cage area, shoulder blades. Okay, so work on articulation through that spinal column, the vertebra. And now the head goes down, inhale. As you exhale, nod your chin, now lift the reins up and then sit up tall, nice and tall. Let's go, breathe in. Exhale, pubic bone to navel, roll down through the spine safely. The head lightly taps the floor, in breath. Exhale, nod chin and abs on before you lift. Good, can you do this with the arms straight now? So now you've got less assistance on your band. Inhale, exhale. Your aim is for your feet, sit up nice and tall. Let's go again, inhale, exhale, curl, tuck the tailbone underneath. Remember the pelvis, the mothership moves first on the way down. Inhale, pelvis, tuck tail, yes, gorgeous. Right, so we're gonna do some chest raise options here. So chest lift, here we go, and lift, eight, seven, six, five. Breathe out as you lift. Four, check the neck is easy. Smile. Now towards the screen, go. Eight, so small rotation there. Seven, six, obliques. Five, come on, you can do it. Four, push yourself. Press your heels into the ground. Rip to hip. Away from the screen, go. Eight, keep your focus. Seven, Six, let your breath match the movement. <sighs> Back to the center, 10 pulses, 10, nine, you can do this. Eight, seven, starting to feel it now. Roll all the way up, woo, and give those hands a little shake out. How did you find that? Brilliant job. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is take ourselves onto our tummy. I'm going to go for my light resistance band for this one because my back extension is not great. So we are working on extension of the spine now. Um, once again, anyone with low back pain, maybe you want to do a, a cat cow as an option. So this is the option. So you're just going to round your back and come back to a long spine. So the alternative exercise is what I'm demonstrating at the moment. This is the move. So we've got our band out in front of us here. Okay. Now, your pelvis needs to be imprinted. So both hip bones, pubic bone, are gently pressing down into the mat. And my lower back is long, so I'm not shortening that. My toenails are in, in contact with the mat and the band is out in front of me here. My eye gaze is down to the floor, so I'm gonna inhale. As I exhale, I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna pull in, bring it down and lower. So yes, you've gotta just mind your nose, mind your face. <laughs> and pull in and take it down. Those of you that can, you can take it overhead, but that I cannot do. So it's quite a strong movement. We're going to do one more. And then we're going to stick the right hand into the mat on the ground. And the left arm is going to open out. And we're going to come down and stick the left hand into the mat and open up. I'm going to slightly look to the side as I do that. I'm going to keep my pelvis imprinted into the mat as I do that. And I'm going to breathe out. And I'm going to inhale. I'm going to exhale to come up gorgeous so I'm also working into my shoulder as well as doing extension here keep the belly button pulled in my friends as we go 
let's do one more here and then release that now bring your hands on your shoulders if you've got wrist pathologies press up with your forearms so come up to this position great job okay so have the band out in front of you like so and we are going to hold put the left hand on top of your band your right hand is going to be the pulling hand so I'm not going to turn around um, so hopefully you get the gist of it so I'm going to be taking my left leg out like so so I'm going to just tag my toes under for the moment and then I'm going to row my right elbow up towards the sky so we're going to be doing a tricep kickback but guess what we're going to be mimicking it with a press at the same time with that leg so when you're ready let's extend both and bend both in the same time on your marks get set here we go and one nice and slow two organize your pelvis don't tip to one side three keep that neck nice and long four control five six seven eight hold it lift the leg ten nine eight seven six five four three two one come on in switching sides so now my left hand is the pulling hand my right leg is the leg pumping in and out are you ready team so organize your pelvis keep your neck nice and long upper back broad elbow comes in pressing down into that hand stand on your right leg extend arm and leg here we go in one and extend to control this three don't rush me four five eye gaze to your mat now keep the back of the neck neutral now hold it here hold the arm so lift the leg ten nine eight seven six five four three two one bring it in beautifully done great okay so we're going to move that out the way you're going to grab your heavy resistance band and i'm just going to change this to a slower song now because we're going to be doing a stretch with the band which is fantastic so you need your pillow now so grab your pillow quite a high pillow to support your neck and then you're going to lay yourself down so spine pathologies roll to your side to your back everyone else hands behind thighs roll down safely um this may seem silly but if you've got a spotlight up there move out of the eye line of that spotlight yeah otherwise you it's not good it may be triggering for headaches etc so you know this is all relevant info right okay right so settle your spine loop your right foot into the band and take your foot back up and let's just enjoy this moment together stretching out that hamstring and you're gonna take you can keep this left leg where it is or you can extend it out now nice active through that foot and open through your left hip for me right now tag your elbows in a bit and all I want you to do is start to lower and lift the leg so let's try and relax the muscles around the hip and just encourage hip mobility here so we are polishing the hip joint and we're getting a bit of a hamstring flexibility stretch there which I like I've got very tight hamstrings normally tight hamstrings equal tight back tight glutes you know tight low back so I encourage you to do lots of band work it's great great rehab tool this and work at your own range of comfortable stretch so it's a mild tension not pain so stop at the top now and think of a windscreen wipe and just start to move side to side so the head of the femur is dropped straight down and imagine that as a spoon in a jar and you're just doing that side to side because we think about our foot don't we we want to think about our thigh bone moving yeah, I'm thinking about deep into my hip, please. 
I've got to keep those hips nice and mobile. Now what I'd like you to do, team, is take both ends of the band, place it into your left hand, and take that, <coughs> pardon me, right leg across the midline. Lift your right pelvis off the floor, and hold it here for me. Breathe. Where are you feeling it? Outside edge of your hip, maybe calf, hamstring. Hold it there for me. Notice the difference if you relax your foot and then flex your foot, it becomes more neural. So decide which one works for you. Or you could go for that, it's a bit like neural flossing. Come back to the middle. Now I'm going to go for an inner thigh stretch. If you've got groin issues today, you're going to go for what's called a butterfly stretch. So the soles of the feet are praying and the knees are apart like a butterfly. So the right leg's up in the air, holding onto the band, nice strong. Left knee meets the right knee, so it's a tabletop position. This left hand opens that leg. So we're going for a counterbalance, so make sure your right leg is not um, pushing too far out. So you still need to press down on that left knee and your inner thigh muscles are stretching. And take a moment here. This is why I love the pillow behind the head because that's what happens. You've got to keep your head rested, your neck gets no more pain. Now come back to the center line and we're going to switch sides. So the left foot goes into the band and the right foot is down. So you can keep the right sole of foot on the floor or you can extend it out. Now this is quite advanced if you want to bring that knee in. So I'm choking my hands up on the band a bit, elbows tagged to the floor and I'm going to start to lift and lower. And I'm going to try and relax my hip and all the muscles surrounding my hip because we grip. We do grip and that's when we cause back pain etc. So try not to grip here. My guys with wrist pain just be careful. Maybe you just want to hold this up because this might put a lot of pressure in your wrists. This is all relevant info out there. Now take the leg up and you're going to start to paint the ceiling side to side. So nice little... Imagine there was a sharpie or a marker in your heel and you were drawing a line on the ceiling for me. Think of that head of the femur please the thigh bone in the jar doing that wunderbar right hand holds the band take the leg across the midline lift that left hip stretching out so if you've ever done reformer class with me I do this stretch often and we are trying to keep the space between rib and hip the same here so I'm not squishing it up and now let's do the action with the foot. So you're going to relax your foot and then flex it. And notice what happens there. Keep this arm down as a counterbalance. Remember that, that hip is slightly lifted. Come back to the center. Hold on with your left hand onto that band. And then the right hand is going to come up with the right knee like so. Knee to knee. Hand out push and open, so inner thigh stretch here. So keep the stretch, counterbalance. Shoulders are low, neck is long, and inhale, exhale. Four, three, two, one. Bring the legs back together, and let's take that down. So get rid of your band for me. Leave that out the way and you're going to cross the right ankle over the left thigh. So some people who've got hip replacement or any type of hip pathology, this may be a no-no for you. So you'd keep your necks together and you do a very small hip roll side to side. So that's the alternative. Everyone else, ankle is on the thigh, not the knee bone. And you can either press down and hold here. You can grab a hold of your hamstring or your shin. Now, remember your head is elevated on that pillow. So we're not trying to lift up and hurt our necks. Now, in this position, kick your left knee up more. Can you feel that? Now roll slightly over towards your left bum cheek. So I'm balancing on my left side for a moment. And then come back to the center. You might get a little bit different, a little, you might feel the stretch different, differently in different angles of the glute there with that. So that's quite interesting. Come on down, uncross. So hip pathologies, you're here. 
everyone else you hear. And also knees. Some knees don't like this, so you are there as well. Go cover your bases, folks. Shoulders low, neck is long, and then hand here or here. Shoulders down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now kick your right knee up because we could just be holding our leg. So kick your right knee up. Active through that. This foot I'm wiggling. Kick that knee up. Now rock over towards that side a little and notice I'm feeling it here now, deep into my hip and my glute. Breathe. Come back to the center. Stay there for a moment. No tension in the neck, please. And then slowly come down and bring your knees together. So my guys that we're doing this as an alternative. There's another round, sorry. Now, any osteopenia, osteoporosis through the spine, you will stay very small rotation. Everyone else, take your knees all the way over and turn your head and change sides over to the other side. Turn your head the other way. And again. Switch. Come back to the center, hug your knees into your chest. Circle your low back to the floor one way and then the other way. Bring one foot down at a time. Roll towards the screen and then bring yourself up. Now, if you can sit like this, totally fine. If you need to stand up, please stand up. So what I want you to do from here, just move that out the way. Walk your fingers out and then take an inhale and then exhale side bend. Over to the opposite side, lift up and then side bend. Wunderbar. And then release that. So rolling to all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, inhale, exhale, tuck the tail round. Now your head and your tailbone drops, push your shins into the mat, and then release that. Do that one more time. Tuck your toes underneath you. Now if you've got any spinal pathologies, you're going to stand up this way. Everyone else, you tuck your toes underneath you, you hang, hang over your legs and grab your elbows and you're going to pendulum your torso. Now, whilst you're doing that, I'm just going to, I'm going to raise my camera up. Okay, so you keep doing this. Look through your knees. Okay, I'm back with you. Ha <laughs> ha. Let your fingers drop to the floor, nod your head yes, shake your head no, breathe in. As you exhale, without any effort, you're going to roll yourself up. And turn to face me, shake it out. Standing tall, check your feet underneath your real hips. You're going to turn your head over to the right, back to the center, and then over to the left, back to the center. Nod your chin in, and then gently raise the chin up if your neck allows it. Take an in-breath and an exhale. One more time. Inhale, bring in all those good vibes, ready for the rest of your day, and bring it out. Shake up the arms and legs. Give yourself a little rotation if your spine allows it. Roll those wrists and give yourself a hand for doing your session with me. So if you enjoyed this video, please can you comment and like and please spread the word about my videos. I'd be most appreciative. And a massive thank you to all my subscribers for always watching my videos. I really appreciate that. It means a lot because you are supporting me. So don't forget, spread the word. Let me know how you felt about the session and let me know which other videos you'd like me to film because I'm looking forward to hearing from you. So my name's Adrian. If this is your first time doing my videos, Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that because I enjoyed teaching you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. See you all soon. Cheers.